Hi, okay, welcome. This is a vlog of my entire last week of life. And so it's long. It's actually not that long because I cut it in half because it was too long. So I'm gonna post the other half of it like tomorrow or the next day or something like that. But I didn't feel like redoing the intro, so yes. What I'm doing right now is I'm literally gonna summarize some of the beginning boring parts for you because it's boring. So I'm just gonna summarize it. And I just said that twice. So clearly I'm not doing a very good job of summarizing. But anyways, so December 26th, that's the day that I finished editing my last vlog. So that's when we're starting off here. And okay, so I, at this point I had a flight booked to go to Mexico on December 31st. I didn't want to go because you know what? I was like, I need to get my life on track right now, you know? Like we're starting good new habits and like going to Tulum is like all it's good for is smoking cigarettes and doing drugs and getting STDs and getting pregnant. And that's not where I should be going right now. I don't know. my intuition was just telling me to cancel the flight. So that's what I did. I made that sound like that making that decision for me was so easy, bro. No, if you know me, I cannot make any decisions to save my goddamn life. I literally can't ever make a decision without thinking that it's possibly the wrong decision. I refuse to believe it's because I'm a Libra. Like if I were to not have a trip to Mexico right now, I would not be buying a flight. Ugh, and then the other part of me is like, maybe I should just go for a month. No, because that would just lose all the momentum that I worked so far on this one week of getting my habits into like gear. But I feel, no, 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 no. We're starting off 2023 on a very good note. I'm done, this is it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I hate myself, fuck. I'm gonna cancel my flight now to Mexico. It feels weird canceling it. Like I'm doing the wrong thing sort of, but I know I'm not, right? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm gonna cancel this. Ugh. Okay. December 27th, I was like, okay, let's get down to business. We need to make money because I have none. So I went through a whole manifesting process to summarize. I write down that I wanted a new business. On the left side, I write all the parameters that I want of the business. Like for example, make a million dollars a year or like work from anywhere, you know, these things. On the right side, you write down all the feelings that you're gonna have once you have this business. Like, you know, proud, grateful, etc. Then at the bottom, you write down the ba babyest babe of baby steps that you can think of to take in that direction. The problem was I was finding it very difficult to take action on just about anything. Like wanting to distract myself. The sun hasn't even set yet, so that means it's like before five. It's like basically set. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 4.57 p.m. So that's like, I have like the whole day still. I saw like five hours before it's like, 10. Five hours is so fucking long to do shit. You know how much shit you can get done in five hours? So much. So I need to utilize this time. Get your shit together tomorrow. I need to take action on some of this stuff. Why do I, I literally want to just do it tomorrow? Maybe we can just do it tomorrow. But then today for the rest of the day, I'll do something other things productive. You know what? There's an Etsy video that's like an hour long or something like that. That was like how I made $975,000 on Etsy. That would be sick. For some reason though, in my mind, I'm like, I don't want to do Etsy. I don't know, I have a lot to think about. Cause like these things don't help me actually move towards what I actually want to do. I believe that my purpose is to help people to live their truth and to, you know, live their most authentic life. For example, like last month in November, I was on the way to an event and I was in an Uber with people that they're like acquaintances. I don't really know them, but I know them. And anyways, there are two people who were lawyers that were talking to each other. One of them was saying to the other lawyer how like he hated his life. He hated being a lawyer, but like before he tried following his dreams and like doing his passion and then he failed. So he was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna just be a lawyer and you know what? It's okay if I hate it because you know what? It's a job. I make a lot of money and you know that's the life. They both were literally like, you know, that's life. You know, you just you go to work, you hate it, and then that's it. You just accept it because there's no alternative. That was his mindset. I feel like it was my purpose to diminish that in the world. I do. One of my beliefs, I guess, is that like it's cringy to be like that and people aren't gonna like me. And like, I don't know. I also have like beliefs that it's like, it's cringy to try. Like for example, like today I posted a quote thingy on Instagram and I have this like weird thing in my mind that like, oh, if you put hashtags on your post, it's like, oh, you're trying too hard. You want people to see your post and that's cringy. Oh, you're trying to grow your Instagram? Cringy. I need to like work on that, but I am working on it. I posted hashtags today. Cause you know what? I do want to grow my Instagram. That's very hard to me, for me to admit for some reason. I feel very, very weird and like shameful. I need to like get to the root of that, I guess. Cause I don't know why I feel like that, but I do. Yeah. I don't know. I really have less than a month to figure out how I'm gonna pay my rent next month. So I really do need to take some sort of action to make money and we're gonna do that. Okay, I just wanted to talk more about just like how we choose to look at things that happen in our lives, you know? I mean, there's that, there's that Viktor Frankl quote that I mean, everyone knows. You know, there's a stimulus in a response and in the space between the stimulus and response, lies are... Anyways, 
you know, some could be in the situation that I'm in and be like, you know what, this is the end. It's over. So I might as well just get a job at No Frills or Tim Hortons, you know? I'm not getting a job at Tim Hortons. <laughs> some might think that that's actually a good idea. You know, it might be but not, I'm not doing that. Okay, anyways, I wanted to say, the purpose of shitty things happening in your life, this book calls it divine storms or like a crisis, but the purpose of it, let me see if I can like read this. Oh wait, Viktor Frankl. Between stimulus and response, there's a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Okay, okay. When you lack courage, life tends to get messy and you get closer and closer to a divine storm. The crisis in your life, the stuckness, the frustration, the powerlessness, these things are divinely sent. They happen to you because you won't make a move until you're in too much pain to not make a move. Facts. The first thing that I think we just need to get right out of the way is ways that I already know how to make money. I don't want to go back to editing because I edited for about a year when I didn't want to edit and I really don't want to get back into that. I did already message one of my clients to see if she just wanted to edit with me again and she said no. But I don't want to message anyone else because like I just like editing for her so that's why I messaged her. Other than that I think I'm just gonna like put up my fiber thing again because I don't know I don't really want to message any of my other clients. Okay, so I finished doing that. That's a good accomplishment. Let's ring the bell. If you're new here, this is my Sally Bell. I bring it to celebrate things, like finishing a task. Okay, because when you celebrate things, it brings more things in your life to celebrate. So we celebrate that. Now, what's the next thing? What are the things that I wrote down that I can do to make money? I could make a Patreon or I could make an Etsy. You know, I feel like Etsy is probably an easier way to make money than Patreon considering I have around not that many people to join my Patreon. I could do both, realistically. Okay, let's watch this Etsy video that I saved. Okay. Guys, in this video. I just watched that Etsy thing. I'm gonna be real. Sounds terrible. Both that and then the Amazon, like I, there was a point where I was like, you know, maybe I'll do Amazon, the private label or whatever. And you know what? Those things sound terrible to me. They sound not fun. And I get it that you can make lots of money doing them, but isn't life supposed to be about enjoying the process? You know, there's something about having an Etsy shop to me that's just not what I want to do, I don't know. No offense to Etsy, Etsy shop owners, like I respect the hustle. I feel like I shouldn't be picky with how I want to make money, but I am being picky. Because you know what? I want to have fun. I want to enjoy the journey. If I'm going to be fucking working my ass off, I want to at least like it. I don't know, I'm having like real issues with, and, and you know what? I feel like this is probably something that I feel like people can relate to. First of all, I had two dreams. My first dream was to be a YouTuber. And then the second one was to have a clothing brand. Basically, you can have these dreams. They come, they come to you. And then it's like, as time goes on, and like I guess I don't know what it is maybe you like lose belief in yourself or like how hard it is becomes evident and then you like lose faith I guess and then it becomes confusing because you're like do I actually still want that basically my dilemma here was that I had a dream of having a clothing brand and then my desire to do it was literally zero and it was like what do i do about it you know what i should do tomorrow one thing that would i think really help is no phone maybe i'm gonna bring my phone downstairs tomorrow and leave it in my locker oh my god that's so smart you know what i could do that even right now maybe i should just put my phone somewhere away i really think that that would help okay wait should we do that why does it give me anxiety to not have a phone i'm gonna do it okay okay no one will know it'll be fine i can't land you oh i really don't want to give up my phone <laughs> What am I gonna do without it? Truthfully, <laughs> unsure. You know what? I'm gonna put my phone downstairs and then I'll be back. Do you wanna come with me? No, it's fine. I'm just putting it, I'm, I'm putting it in my locker. Does it make it more exciting to bring the vlog out? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just for the purposes of like having footage outside of my fucking house. We're gonna do that. Let's go together. Let's go together. Okay. Am I really going to do this? Okay. I'll see you there. I'll see you in a second. You know what I'm also just realizing? This falls in line with atomic habits of making bad habits hard to do. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm making a habit of wasting time on my phone. I'm making it hard. Out of sight, out of mind. Do you guys want to see my fucking locker? <laughs> just so fucked. It's just so fucked. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna leave my phone here. Why am I so nervous about this? Okay. 5.42. Okay, it's gonna be productive. Oh my god, guys. I just go back upstairs. Wait, why did that kind of sound like Borat? Just go back upstairs from the phone thing. I'm telling you, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel like I literally can't. I feel like I can't. My brain is so scam scrambled and jambled. It's so scrambled and jambled. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. 
<laughs> I literally was just laughing because it's 5.50. 5.42. And I'm literally like, man, I want to go back and get my phone. <laughs> Bro, has that been like three minutes? <laughs> oh my god, this is pathetic. I'm going insane, I think. I think I'm going insane. I think I'm going insane. I think I need to do something else. I feel so bad though. I feel like me looking at from an outsider into my life right now, it's like, are you dumb, Mar? Just fucking do something. Do something. It feels like I just don't want to do anything except procrastinate. This is how I felt before too. Except for before at least, I was numbing out and you know, going to drugs and stuff. So you know what? We made an improvement because I'm not high. So we're just facing my feelings sober now so that's really good that's really good actually oh my gosh that's an improvement well you know what i can do no i don't want to do anything literally whenever i think of something okay you know what no i was just gonna say literally whenever i think of doing something i, I feel so anxious and then i don't want to do anything you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna lean into those feelings i'm gonna sit a little a little bit with those feelings. You no, know, I'm gonna do it right here because I feel like if I turn off the camera, I'm gonna, you know, I don't even have a phone, so I'm not gonna procrastinate. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna feel the feelings. I'm back. That was like two seconds later. I feel like slightly better after doing that, actually. Literally, I did that for probably 10 seconds. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take action on this one thing that I wanted to do because I felt the feelings that I was feeling. And you know, these feelings aren't even that bad. The feelings that I'm trying to avoid, it's not even that bad. Okay, so I'm gonna make a design that literally just says, come make this with me. I bought this shirt to help pay her rent. Do we like that? I bought this shirt to help the coolest mark pay her rent. I think that's good. Can you see it? Would you buy that? I'd buy that. Let's try some other fonts. Papyrus. Ugh, love it. So bold. Love that. Oh my gosh. What if I add into it? In brackets. That means I'm a good person and you should give me head. How's that? I bought this shirt to help the coolest mark pay her rent. That means I'm a good person and you should give me head. I'm loving this idea. I would buy this. I would buy this. I feel like people would buy this, cause I would. Okay, I bought this shirt to help the coolest mar pay her rent in papyrus. That means I got, I'm a good person and you should give me head. That's the one. What if it's not a shirt? What if it's a hoodie? Oh, then I have to make it say, I bought this hoodie. All right. Oh, can't even check my phone in the meantime. Hey, look how productive we've been without my phone. That was really good. And it's only 6.11. That's like literally half an hour and I've been this productive with no phone. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's just do one that also says, bought this hoodie. Guys, this is perfect. It's so good, I love it. Ew, the P and the D. Uh, I hate it so much. Okay, what if I got rid of her? That's better. I like pay her rent. Why do I like that better? I bought the shirt to help the coolest mark pay rent. Okay, well, it does get rid of the PD problem. Pronouns are so 2022 anyways. So we'll just get rid of it. Perfect. I love it. Picasso, I love it. Perfect. What do we think? I would buy it. Wouldn't you? Wow, just thought of checking my phone again. And you know what? I can't even do that. So it's a good productivity hack, guys. There you go. I feel so accomplished. Holy shit, we are selly bellying right now. So maybe people can pre-order them. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, I'm so smart. I'll do pre-orders. I'll post a mock-up. No, I'm not gonna do a mock-up. I'm gonna print it first on just a blank shirt that I have here. And then I'll post it on my Instagram and I'll make a TikTok and I'll post it on YouTube and I'll make a short. Yes, yes, yes. Now I have to cut it out, tape them together, make a frame out of wood, coat the screen, let the screen dry. <laughs> I don't wanna make a screen today. Okay, well we're gonna get my phone to reward me, I guess. And then we'll do that. <laughs> I don't know. I bet you at least one person will buy a shirt. Wrong. <laughs> Imagine I could pay my fucking rent. That's gonna be my goal. Hopefully it's gonna look good. It doesn't matter. It can be ugly. It can be ugly, that's the best part. It can still be ugly, and then that's the charm of it. You see what I'm saying? That's part of its charm. I don't care if people don't like this because I like it. That is how it's supposed to be. I like this idea enough that I don't give a fuck if anyone thinks that this idea is stupid because I don't think it's stupid. And even if I do think it's stupid, it's stupid on a level that I like, okay? Done. And then you know what? It's only gonna go up from here. Because you know what? This is just to get the ball rolling and then we have momentum, okay? And then once we have momentum, then game over. Boom, done. Okay, I'm excited about this. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about this. Can you tell that I'm excited? This is the most excited I've been all day. And you know what? It all started from putting my phone in my locker. 
I recommend it. If this video is out, that means that you can pre-order it. Here are the ways that you can pre-order it, and I'm just making this up right now. You can DM me on Instagram, at the coolest mark. You could leave a comment on this video, after which I will tell you to DM me on Instagram. So just go and DM me on Instagram, at the coolest mark, or you can just PayPal me money. The link is below. I feel good about the problems that I've made today. I really do. I feel aligned. And you know what that means? That means good things are coming. So, buy my shirt. Okay, see you tomorrow. Ow. 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 Bro, they took so many fucking vials of blood, it's insane. There's five vials of blood that they took from me. Five. And I love how she was like, almost done. About 30 seconds after she said almost done, she's like, one more tube. And I was like, no. <laughs> almost done does not mean one more tube. Almost done means we're on the last two and I'm about to take the needle out. <laughs> That's what almost done means, you fucking bitch. <laughs> You'll psych me out like that. You don't. One, two, three. Okay. I don't know why I held that for so long. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever done that before. Do-da-do, dee-dee-dee-da-da-do-do-do-do-do. Yeah.